What's up family, Trail here and we have a new turn of events that happened over the weekend. The GOP has now flipped again and said that they don't want to touch Social Security in the debt ceiling negotiations. Yes guys, we talked about this previously on the previous videos and now things have changed. Uh, this is much different from what we previously heard on Capitol Hill, but could this be true? Or is this part of the Republican strategy to win things over? Also, we have a huge breaking news from President Biden that happened overnight. Uh, the emergency status is finally coming to an end. I've got the details to share with you today in a moment, but make sure that you are subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. President Biden made an official announcement late last night or evening, shall I say. Uh, yes, President Biden has announced that the COVID-19 health emergencies will be ending in the month of May. Yes, guys, this information is according to the White House. Uh, the Biden administration plans to end the COVID-19 public health emergency and national health emergency designations on May the 11th, according to the White House. Now, this particular move shifts the debate around the GOP resolutions ending the two emergencies, which were set to be voted on in the House sometime later this week as a referendum on the incompatibility between President Biden's state statements on the pandemic and the administration's policies, but they have made this announcement official late on Monday night. As you guys remember that they had to do it and let the American people know within 90 days. And now they are letting you know things are about to change. Now, what does this mean for the American people? Well, it probably means that things are going to continue to get rough as if they were not already rough for a majority of Americans right now, especially those individuals that are struggling because of the effects from the pandemic. But guys, we have been dealing with the pandemic for pretty much three years now. And yes, it is finally time to move forward. And according to the White House, they are saying that they are making the first step. So yes, guys, just wanted to let you know about that announcement. And now the White House and the Biden administration can pretty much focus on this new debt ceiling increase. This has been a thorn for the Biden administration because the government could potentially shut down, which means that millions and millions of Americans could be suffering from the effects of a government shutdown if the government is unable to pay its liabilities and its responsibilities because of the debt ceiling increase. And now the Biden administration can pretty much focus on that moving forward because it is a very huge topic right now on Capitol Hill. Now, we just received word that about 24 GOP senators have now warned the Biden administration and the White House that they will be opposing the debt limit increase without any fiscal reforms. Now, nearly half of the Senate Republican Conference has signed to a letter to President Biden warning him that they will not vote for any bill to raise the nation's debt limit unless it's connected to spending cuts to address the nation's $31 trillion deficit. Yes, guys, in this particular letter that was led by conservative senators Mike Lee and Ted Budd says that it is the policy of the Republican conference that any increase in the debt ceiling must be accompanied by cuts in federal spending or meaningful structural reform in the spending. So yes, guys, they are pretty much trying to put a hold on the spending that is coming from President Biden because over the past couple of years, President Biden has been spending a ton of money left and right, which is starting started from offering that huge bill that passed trillions of dollars. I believe $1.7 trillion was in the last bill and uh, the Republicans are just tired of it, guys. They want to see the Biden administration stop the spending and they also want to see some tax cuts that is going to benefit the wealthy and the businesses. So anyways, guys, in a statement, it said that, look, we, the undersigned members of the Senate Republican Conference, right to express our outright opposition to a debt ceiling hike without real structural spending reform that reduces deficit spending and brings fiscal sanity back to Washington, D.C. Now, this is what the senators wrote in this particular letter that was then sent on to President Biden. Now, so far, we haven't heard any response from the president in regards to this letter, but uh, we probably won't receive any response to this letter as well. I'm sure that President Biden will probably ignore this letter altogether, although I'm sure he will read it. 
But anyways, guys, uh, that is what we have right now. The GOP said that they are not going to vote for this. And like I said, this is pretty much half of the GOP conference. And Mitch, this means that the debt ceiling won't have enough votes to pass. But anyways, guys, that is just the one piece of information that we have so far right now in regards to the debt ceiling increase. I know uh, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are pretty much in negotiations all of this week and uh, pretty much trying to figure out how they can come to a consensus or a bipartisan way in order to get this thing done so that the government doesn't have to be forced to a shutdown. But also another piece of that information in regards to the debt ceiling was that the GOP was pretty much, like I said, trying to prevent the debt ceiling increase from happening. And they also wanted to include in this particular plan that they wanted to make cuts towards entitlement programs such as Social Security as well as Medicare. So we have seen this pretty much thing getting shuffled around for many, many years now. The Republicans pretty much want to cut the Social Security program. They want to prevent the amount of money and they want to do away with it altogether because they don't feel like the government should be responsible for this particular social security fund. However, uh, this was exactly what was promised to the American people when they have been working over the past 30 to 40 years. And uh, the American people are social security recipients. They deserve this, guys. They are our most vulnerable Americans in this country and uh, they cannot live without the social security. I know some of them don't necessarily receive a lot of social security benefits, but then again, on the flip side, there are some that really depend on this every single day, every single week, because they need this uh, benefits to actually be able to put food on their table. So uh, like I said, the GOP also wanted to cut out uh, Social Security as well as Medicare. But uh, things have changed, guys, over the weekend. Yes, guys, if you don't recall, we talked about it last week where Donald Trump, the former president, Donald Trump, spoke out to his Republicans, the lawmakers, and told them they better not do anything with Social Security or Medicare. And as you can see right here, this is the particular article that we talked about on January the 20th. And yes, Donald Trump warned the U.S. House Republicans not to touch Social Security and Medicare. And now uh, things have changed, guys. I guess they got the message from Donald Trump, which is their leader. And uh, they have kind of made a little bit of a switch, guys. Look at this particular article right here, guys. Yes, McCarthy, the new House Speaker, has now changed his mind. And he talked about it on, I believe, the State of the Union that happened on Sunday. Sunday, this past Sunday, in which he said that, look, uh, they're going to scratch that idea of cutting Medicare and Social Security. He said now they have plans that they want to actually strengthen Social Security and Medicare. And yes, guys, the White House was not necessarily happy about this flip of the switch that happened on Sunday. As you can see right here that the White House hit back after Speaker Kevin McCarthy said that he wants to strengthen Medicare and Social Security, arguing on Sunday that the House GOP leader and his conference actually want to slash spending on the entitlement programs. Yes, guys, like I said, McCarthy said in an interview on CBS's Face the Nation, not State of the Union, that he wants to take cuts to Medicare and Social Security off the table in talks with the Democrats over the debt ceiling increase. Even though Republicans do want commitments on spending cuts generally, he said instead, McCarthy said that Republicans were committed to strengthening the entitlement program, Social Security and Medicare. So yes, guys, we have seen a total 180 in regards to what uh, the Republicans have wanting to see as far as the negotiations in regards to voting on this debt ceiling increase. And now McCarthy is saying he is in line with the Democrats and that they are on the same page and that they want to both strengthen the Social Security program as well as our Medicare program as well. So uh, anyways, guys, the White House is not happy about it. President Biden is not happy about it and yes guys they had a lot to say about it i will i will say indeed <clears throat> but the good news is that uh later this week guys i believe this is happening on wednesday uh president biden is actually set to sit down and meet with the house speaker kevin mccarthy and they are going to be discussing the debt ceiling yes guys this is going to be happening 
on this coming Wednesday, which is tomorrow, guys. The House Speaker said the Republicans will not allow the U.S. to default and express an interest in reaching an agreement with President Biden. This is some good news, guys. This is some breaking news. And this is also, like I said, this is a flip of the switch because this is a different tone from what we heard last week in which uh, McCarthy, as well as other GOP lawmakers, were all calling for cuts to Social Security and Medicare. So the good news is that they have now switched. They said that they are in the same page with President Biden and they want to make an agreement. They want to reach an agreement with the president in regards to the debt ceiling increase as well as strengthening our entitlement programs such as the Social Security program as well as our Medicare program. Uh, so this is some good news for the American people, especially for our Social Security recipients. Now, whether or not they are pulling this huge strategy on the Democrats, we don't know as of yet, guys, but so far on the table and on paper, guys, from what we can see, it looks like they are trying to do something totally different. They don't want the U.S. to default on its responsibilities. They want to help the president and make sure that a debt ceiling is actually increased very soon before the deadline. So again, like I said, they are going to be meeting on Wednesday and I will keep you guys up to date as usual in regards to what actually happens in that particular meeting. But anyways, guys, one thing for sure is that President Biden, when he does meet with Kevin McCarthy, he did go ahead and make this statement to some of the reporters that were standing outside of the White House, he did say that, look, he wants McCarthy to show him his plan before President Biden shows him his plan. So, yes, guys, I don't know what you want to call this cat and mouse gang. But anyways, guys, he says, show me your plan. And I'll show you my plan. And then we can figure out how we can meet in the middle. So, again, guys, I will say this is very positive news in the right direction because we definitely don't want to see the U.S. default on its responsibilities as well as we don't want to see cuts in Social Security. We actually want to see increases in the Social Social Security benefits as well as Medicare. I mean, these particular programs, I mean, they are pretty much outdated, guys, and they have been outdated for years, which is why the current program is set to be insolvent by the year of 2035, in which that is why we need Social Security reform right now. We need it very drastically, in which Hopefully, the Republicans and the Democrats can come together in a bipartisan way to figure out what is the best solution for this particular Social Security program. This is going to be affecting all of those individuals under the umbrella, SSI, SSDI, VA beneficiaries, and many, many more guys. So anyways, guys, keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully this meeting on Wednesday uh, does some greatness for the country because that is all that matters right now, especially our low income families, as well as our middle class families as well, guys. Those are the ones that really need some help right now. They need the support and hopefully President Biden, as well as the GOP leaders can come together and get this thing figured out. But anyways, guys, hey, I hope all of this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today. But don't forget, some of the links down below really help and support this channel. If you are interested, please check them out below in the description. Uh, but anyways, hey, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.